Hello and welcome to Guns and Gear. Now a little while back I uh, showed you my uh, Colt Detective Special. And I went into some a little bit of detail about the gun so I'm not going to you know repeat that because uh, I have uh, been able to, I've had the good fortune I should say to get another Detective Special. Now this uh, both of these guns represent uh, the third edition or third generation or however you want to uh, call that uh, of the Colt Detective Special and uh, I still <laughs> I still can't find my book uh, nor do I remember who I might have loaned it to uh, I had a book on Colt firearms but I did look it up on the internet and it appears that the third uh, edition of the Colt Detective Special were manufactured from about 1972 or 73 uh, to about 1986 okay now when I purchased this gun right here or actually this was a trade uh, I got it from a, a police officer who said he bought it in 1984 okay now uh, not too long back I had the opportunity to make another trade and I got yet another Colt Detective Special but this one you don't see as often because this one here has the three inch barrel okay now I, I'm not going to say that it's rare the three inch barrel but you don't they're not as uh, uh, prevalent as the uh, two inch models okay and this gun is another fine example uh, of a Colt Detective Special as you look at the end there there's nowhere on the cylinder or end of barrel there's scratches it's in uh, excellent shape okay and to be honest with you, uh, the trigger is just a little bit smoother on this one than, than my 2 inch, and I really like the trigger on the 2 inch gun. Okay? So, not going to go into a whole lot of detail, but what I wanted to do is share with y'all uh, when I took the gun to the range. Now, it was a couple weekends back, and I went to the range, and matter of fact, it was the very first cylinder full of ammunition. I had some old reloads that uh, I think I'd got them at a. At a at another shooting range actually but anyway uh, that first cylinder full of ammunition uh, and they were target loads 158 grain uh, bullets well they were when I was shooting it it was they were feeling awfully light you know like uh, target loads usually are and uh, I think it was maybe the fourth round uh, didn't sound right at all uh, very light pop uh, the those target rounds didn't have a lot of recoil, but there was absolutely no recoil with that. So I knew uh, something was up, so I stopped. I held the gun downrange towards the target uh, for maybe a minute and a half, two minutes, and uh, then I proceeded to unload the gun and, and, and inspect it. Okay? And what I found when I did that, and I'll go ahead and show you that yes, this gun is unloaded, is that. I hope this shows up, but there's a bullet lodged in the barrel, and it's maybe a half inch away from the end of the barrel. Okay, I don't know if y'all can tell that or not. Not, not very far from the end of the barrel. Now, had I had uh, gone ahead and pulled that trigger again, uh, at the very least. I would have uh, probably severely damaged the gun at worst. Uh, I could have injured, injured myself, right? So I wanted to share that tip. I know a lot of folks who, uh, on YouTube are very experienced with firearms and uh, maybe some of us aren't as experienced as others and I wanted to kind of go over that situation. You know, you're always paying attention when you're shooting and if something doesn't feel right, then you need to stop. Uh, if you think you may have had a hang fire, miss fire, uh, whatever the case may be, uh, maybe it's just a light primer strike and the, and the, and the bullet doesn't go off at all. Uh, you stop and you hold it down range. And, uh, you know, I was always taught to, to give it a, you know, a couple of minutes. And then you unload that gun and you inspect the firearm. Okay? Now, um, can't stress that enough can't stress that enough. That could have been uh, a bad accident if I'd have pulled the trigger again. Now, 
uh, what do I do now? Well, I haven't taken the bullet out because I kind of wanted to talk about it. Uh, you know, this doesn't happen a lot. And matter of fact, it's only happened to me a couple of times. But, you know, what my father taught me to do is it depends upon the gun. Now, in a semi-automatic where you can uh, take the barrel out, then you take the barrel out and uh, you take a dowel rod or something and you go through the, the chamber uh, end of the barrel and you punch that uh, bullet out with a, with a mallet or something. Okay. Uh, you always want to go out the front end of the barrel. My father always said that because the way that lands and grooves are pulled into a, a threaded into a barrel that you always want to make sure that you drive the bullet out the front of the barrel. Okay. Now on a revolver we can't do that can we? Uh, there's no way I can get a dowel rod in there and there's uh, you can take the barrels off but uh, I'm not good enough to take a barrel off uh, they are threaded on there uh, without messing, without probably messing the gun up. Okay, so in this case, uh, I would drill a hole uh, into the bullet with a drill and a drill bit, and then I would thread a screw into that bullet and try to pull it out that way. Okay, uh, if I'm unsuccessful at doing that, and, oh by the way, you you drill a hole. Uh, once again, this is from my father. You drill the hole in there so you're not expanding that material, lead, copper, whatever the bullet is uh, constructed of, even more tightly against the barrel, making it harder to pull out. So you drill a hole in there uh, just a little bit smaller than your screw so you don't expand that material out any more than you have to. Okay. Now, if I'm unable to get it out that way, uh, then I will take it to a gunsmith, okay, and he'll be able to take the barrel off uh, and he'll probably do something very similar in taking a dowel rod and a, and a mallet and knocking it out. Okay, so I just kind of wanted to share that with you guys. Um, can't really say that that's a good shooting gun yet. <laughs> I only got three or four rounds in before, uh, before I had to stop, but uh, it's a it's a wonderful example of the gun of the detective special. Uh, I, I was very fortunate to find this gun and, and work out a it was another horse trade, and uh, for me to get that gun, uh, so wanted to share my little safety alert with you. Uh, please be aware when you're shooting. If something doesn't seem right, feel right, or sound right, stop. Stop. Uh, and inspect your firearm. Okay? So with that, shoot straight on the range and in life. Thanks.